Hello people of social media. Today we're gonna tie a quite lifelike nice mayfly nymph. Yeah. This is with uh, a few materials but it uh, gets it makes it really look really nice. So let's start. I tied this in a size 14. That is a great size for yeah, normal yellow may dance or brown ones in that size. Also bigger by Yetis if you want so. And the thing here is that you need a lighter thread. Like this is a light tan I think, but you can use a yellow, white. Because if you, if you will have a dark thread, the, the fly will be so dark. And the meaning with this is that you want that a little bit of transparency in the fly. And uh, for the tail, I use um, pheasant tail. That is a uh, that works nice for this kind of fly. Then I just need to find three strands of this that are not broken like those were. We do another. Perfect. Those were four. Then we remove one. And we will just do a little measurement where we want them. Like one third out of the fly. I'm gonna build up a little body here at first. So I tie this in and then go back with the thread and press them up and do a turn under just to spread spread them like that. And here's the trick. This is the tin skin, like a little transparent latex or vinyl vinyl material and you cut this with a taper now I cut it a little bit too much but you can fix it so it will look like this Here you have to be a little bit careful because this material is not the strongest one, but we will we will make it a try. And I tie it in and I pull it slowly back just to stretch it a little bit, and then build up a little tapered body. Not much, but just a little bit. It will become tapered when you start with this material. And you do touching turns like or over turns over their own material to get a little taper and segmentation. Like that. And you have to save a few millimeters to the hook eye. Cut that off, and now you can use this material still for the wing case. <clears throat> and you can use whatever dubbing you want. I will use the snowshoe rabbit foot dubbing. Which I think is really nice because you want it to be kind of easy to dub. Then 
that is nice. And then for legs I use a hem saddle. This is our own NTS hem saddles which are pretty nice for this type of flies. And I remove some of the materials. The fluff or what to call it. And then I cut so I just will leave so it will look like this and I like to cut some people they they tie it in like this but I like to tie it in on the underside just one wrap then you can fix the material in that length you want it perfect and then it's just to <coughs> pull this material over and I just do two thread wraps and then I cut it off And then I can do the last ones. And I use some varnish or resin. <coughs> Or you can also use some UV resin or super glue. I just take a little bit so I know that the fly will stay strong. So there you have a tin skin mayfly. Really nice. So tie it up.